Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible and I truly mean it because I love your beautiful faces. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, 3.0 is coming quick because we kind of have to do it and there was a bunch of things I wanted to have happen before I started 3.0 and one of the biggest things is I wanted to make sure that the country seemed like it was gonna start to open up. It's starting to look like that's definitely possible before I make this absolutely huge endeavor into 3.0. I really wanted to talk to you about some of the challenges that I'm gonna be facing here very shortly but before we get into that, Let's talk about what attractions 3.0 will actually have. So again, 3.0 is going to be upstairs and downstairs if it works out the way I'm hoping it to. So really, the upstairs part is going to be very similar to 2.0 right here. I want to have big enclosures, very similar to this. I'm not sure exactly what's going to go into each of them, but I do know that I want to add probably my Bolin's pipe down over here, a Chuckawalla exhibit. I definitely want to add collared lizards. I still really want to work on that Komodo dragon. There's a handful of other snakes I definitely want to get into. And of course, I'd really like to get an albino water monitor. It'd be really cool. And I have all of the room that we would have for 2.0, not to mention a little bit more, because again, we have the birthday party room and the sloth room here at 2.0. So in 3.0, we won't have have that so we'll be able to actually add a little bit more enclosures to it and a little bit more diversity as a matter of fact down in the comments let me know what you want to see at 3.0 as far as reptiles go because the entire upstairs pretty much is going to be reptiles with the exception of one little thing we are really working on trying to add some otters that's right we want three little baby asian small clawed otters that's really what we want so i don't know if it's going to happen yet that's something that we'll talk about a little bit more here but that's the attractions upstairs so i just got word that uh Jay, our camera guy here, has a little surprise for us. So what do you say we go take a look? And apparently this surprise came from this guy here. So let's see what we have here. Oh my Dude, gosh. Look at you it. have to be kidding me. Oh no. my god. Holy god. What? What happened, man? It, isn't that crazy? So I got I got uh, info from Jay that uh, he had a dog available. So oh my gosh, it's I, a little German Shepherd. I've been missing some companionship from a fluffy friend, so. Uh, oh my God. It got is a good the, home with me now. It is the cutest <laughs> little thing in the world, man. Isn't it adorable? Can you believe this? So Jay, what, what happened to a friend of yours? Uh, yeah, a friend of mine just had a dog that needed a, a home, and I was like, oh, Jay and Maria would be perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Long story short, Jay has been wanting a dog for quite some time, and this is so cute. You're I like, know. Oh my gosh, you're my. Guy. I know you're right. He reminds me of the little Zeusie, no. but with more color. My Zeusie. <laughs> I love German Shepherds. This thing is so absolutely adorable. What, what have you named them yet? Not yet. I'm trying to think of something kind of cute. I always love cute names, so cute we'll names? figure it out. Maybe, you know, you know Brian's, like... a, Brian's a good name, <laughs> just just so Brian you know. Junior. Brian Jr. Brian Jr. All right. <laughs> Brian. Hi, Brian! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh, I love this puppy. Dog, huh? he's, so, he's so fluffy. And he's so friendly, you know? He's so friendly. He loves he people. Oh. oh, my God. I love it. So that's it. Looks like we've got a new little puppy that'll be around a little bit. So uh, we need, uh, go ahead, give some uh, name suggestions. Yeah, help me out, please. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh my God, I've never seen Jay so happy. I can't believe it's been a year since we were working on Reptarium 2.0, and I'm really itching to get onto the 3.0 thing. The basement is the craziest one. I'm not going to lie to you, and I want to talk to you a little bit about you know budgets and how this is going to work. But the problem is, I don't even know what's going to happen. I've talked to you guys about the fact that the biggest thing for this basement has to be that we have to bust this floor out and go two or three feet down. You know, that means the drains, all the sewage, everything else has to be done. I don't even know if it's possible. I, I've been having a hard time getting people to even call me back. So I have an engineer that's supposed to be getting with me so he can come and actually take a look and so like that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be wild. But, and that's a huge part because if that can happen, I don't know if I can do 3.0. And by the way, down here, all of this goes, right? Everything down here has to be moved out and it's gonna be all aquatic something I haven't really talked to you guys about yet. I wanna go into some fish as well, not just reptiles, right? So this wall here is gonna be mainly like alligators and stuff like that, salt and pepper, of course, RJ, and again, the stingray tank over here. But what I want down here, the stairway will be right over here. What I want on this wall here is all giant tanks. That's right, I wanna have this entire wall here be nothing but giant aquariums. I mean, I want a saltwater reef tank that's, you know, like 1,000, 1,500 gallons. I want an eel tank, predator saltwater 
tank. I want a Predator freshwater tank, maybe piranha tank. I'm not 100% sure. I figure I can do maybe six or seven giant, you know, eight to 10 foot long aquariums along this wall that are basically, you know, almost floor to ceiling. It can't be all the way to the ceiling because you still need to access them to clean them and stuff like that. But we're definitely going to have really tall enclosures. So it's going to be aquatic. And you guys know aquatic means money. It's a lot of money because it's not only money for glass and, and getting all going, but filtration. The good news is I work with Universal Rocks. You guys know that. And they have a great aquarium division to work with. So upstairs, we'll definitely be building all of the enclosures back down in Garland, Texas with Universal Rocks. But then they're going to have to help me build the enclosures down here well, it's down here because we can't carry in a thousand or fifteen hundred gallon aquarium into a basement. They're going to have to be built down here. So there's a lot of things to think about. But thankfully, I have good friends like that, as well as, of course, the life support for all the aquarium can get done by my friend Steve Bashy from Bashy Aquatics. So I think that that's really good. The downside is I just got to find out, can I even do this basement? Can this floor come out and can I go two foot down? I tell you what, there's a lot to consider and I'm starting to freak out a little bit. Now the budget for Reptarium 2.0 was about $250,000 for the build out. That was minus animals. That was just the enclosures and the build out and so on like that. So I'm figuring the fact that we have an upstairs and a downstairs and the fact that it's aquarium based is gonna at least double it, right? So we're probably looking at $500,000 maybe. That's a lot of money, guys. And you gotta remember that I always tell you guys that uh, all the money I make on almost anything I do, I just put right back into things, right? So anything we've ever made at the Reptarium, I've never taken a dime for myself. I just put it aside so that we can build it out. Now, I don't have that money in the Reptarium account, so I'm gonna have to take money out of other accounts that I have to pay for that type of an investment. And I wonder, is Lori gonna be okay with it? I don't know, let's go talk to her. Lori, yes. ready for a chat? I don't know, am I? Yeah, <laughs> so I'm yeah. obviously talking about Reptarium 3.0 and expansion right now. And we really, I know we've, we've talked a lot about this. I mean, obviously this isn't something I'm just springing on you without you knowing. And there's a lot to still consider, but I mean, have you thought at all about budget? And if like, where, what kind of budget would you be okay with? Like, I mean, is there like a dollar amount there? You're like, no way, that's just too much of a risk. That's a hard question mm -hmm. because we've well, talked about what we want to do yeah. and we have no idea what that price may be. I know, that's the problem so, is there's a lot of things we don't know, but let me I just throw a number out. Okay. I think it's going to cost a half million dollars oh, or more. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You think that's too much? You don't? I mean, I don't know how we'll do it for less than that. Well, how are you gonna, how would we recoup that? It would take a few years to recoup yeah, that investment. a few lot of years. No, not, I think a few years to recoup it. Three, four, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't I don't know if we can really do that much. Really? We just have to wait and see. Well, there's a, I, I'll, I'll try to get that budget down, but there's a lot to consider. Yeah, there is. Okay. And okay. that's not a budget that, A, I, I don't even know if you could do, let alone, it certainly isn't a budget you could go over, which you always love Yeah, that's do. the problem, yeah, we always go over. Yeah, okay. yeah, probably got to think about this one a little okay. bit more. Maybe I, get some quotes. I, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right, I'll get back to you. Okay, so Lori didn't exactly like my budget, but I understand that it's a lot of money. And like she said, it's going to take time to recuperate. I don't really think about it like as an investment as much as I just think about, I just want there to be amazing experiences. Again, you know, if we add the otters, we add all the other cool reptiles, we add the stingrays, we add, you know, all kinds of other cool things. You know, we got the alligators down here. I mean, to me, it's worth the money. And who cares if I spend all my money on expanding because I'm not going to to spend my money on anything else anyways I want to do this so I get it but the problem is is that until I start getting some actual numbers I don't know what that budget is the one thing I do know is if I do a basement I have to have two stairways of course I have one stairway now the next stairway has to go in here because you need to have two egresses for people to get out that way if something crazy happens you can go this way you can go that way the thing I don't know is does it have to be handicapped accessible to the point where do I have to have an elevator do I have to have one of those like you know things that actually zooms down the stairs can I get away without doing it, that could be the difference between an extra 50 grand or 150 grand. Those are answers I just don't know and I'm kind of freaking out about it because that could cause the budget to go from 350 to 550 or even higher. I don't know. So uh, yeah, I, I definitely definitely have a lot of thinking to do, but man, I, I gotta make it happen some way, right? There's not more TVs I'm gonna be kind of sad. <laughs> what the f 
fuck is this? <laughs> Who is this? this? Oh, oh, dude. Dude. oh my god, come that's on, awesome! Come on! Come on, come on. I'm come not gonna on. lie, for a second I thought it was mine. I was just like, oh, <laughs> it's real! But then it's yours, and that's fine too. I'm, I'm totally. Yeah. I'm totally no, Bronco. What is this thing? His name's Bronco. Bronco. He's already called Bronco. Is this no. a, no. I made that is this a German name Is it a German Shepherd? It is. Yeah. It's, it's you like the camera? Oak Hound mix. That's awesome. So, think, so it's gonna be like a small Jeremy? Yeah, yeah. A mini Jeremy. That's awesome. Think, Lori. Of course. Here, here, Bronco. So cute. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh yeah, he's adorable. What are you doing, bud? Look at that little tail, it's all yeah, crooked. Couch. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm trying not to have happen. It's all crooked. So in a way, I'm actually asking you guys, what do you think I should do? You know, this is the second time that we did an expansion like this, right? And so the upstairs is just another expansion just like we've already done, but it's the first time that we're gonna do this crazy thing like digging out a basement, putting a bunch of aquatics in, putting huge tanks. I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing. Just like with Drogo, it took me time to figure out what to do with them, and almost every animal I've worked with here it's like I'm learning on the fly here. So I know that it's a crazy thing, but it's like I mentioned, it's not like I care about the money I make to do things for myself. I, I just want to keep investing in my dreams, you know, and, and making a cooler and cooler place, not only for me, but also for people that come. So let me know in the comments, am I crazy? I mean, should I take that type of a risk for something that just continues to fulfill the dreams? Or should I say, no, let's just keep Reptarium where it's at right now. Uh, I really do need your help because like I said, I think about this literally every day, all day, and uh, it's just rolling around in my head, and uh, I don't know, I wanna do it so bad, but I, I let me know, pros and cons, down in the comments. Help me out on this one, guys, I need your help. Noah, I need your advice, man. Oh yeah, I'm on. I, that's my job, what's up? I know, well you've just read that book, Aristotle's book and stuff like that, so. Yeah, what's up, Tom, very. So if I were to say, do this expansion, the Reptarium, because it affects you and your future, yeah. right, in a number of ways, Let's say that I was gonna spend like a half million dollars on an expansion. Would you rather me save that for your inheritance? No. No, you'd rather me do the expansion? Yeah, totally. Then why is that? Why do you think? It's more fulfilling. It's more fulfilling, okay. Yeah. In the end, you get it all anyway, so, yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. I know. Okay, well, thank you, I appreciate that. You're See, welcome. you're more supportive than your mom. <laughs> so again, I don't know exactly what to do, but I know I'm going to probably push forward, so I need your help and I need your kind of uh, support through things if you don't mind. If you enjoy this video, you can support me by watching this playlist. One or two helps this channel tremendously. Up here, you can listen to my podcast. I talk about all kinds of stuff like this expansion. Over here, we're getting close to 3 million. Hit the subscription button for this vlog channel, please. Turn your post notification on to follow along on my insane life that's coming up. Have an absolutely incredible day. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.